I'd like to remember on this occasion, Christmas 1988, you were on tour and I was at one of your shows at the RDS Dublin. You might remember on that night you wore a Dublin Millennium T-shirt. Well, I was the one who gave it to you. That holds a very special memory for me. And I'd like to wish you a very happy and holy Christmas and the very best for the new year coming. Sir Cliff Richard has been the gift that keeps giving since he smouldered onto the pop scene in the 1950s. Right, who was the first person? And over the past eight decades, he has become the king of Christmas. I remember programmes when I was growing up, you know, you knew that it was coming up towards Christmas and it was a special because Sir Cliff Richard would be a guest. She's very <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you very much. It really wouldn't be Christmas in the United Kingdom without a, a little slice of Sir Cliff Richard. To my generation, uh, Cliff is the entertainer. I mean, he was part of the real entertainment establishment. I mean, the Cliff Richard specials, the TV specials, the films. Cliff lasted longer than everybody and kept it going. I mean, he was Saturday Night Entertainment. Sir Cliff has been sparkling his way through the festive TV schedules in every decade of his career, even appearing with the current kings of entertainment in 2009. Yeah. What are we going to do about this note from Santa that says we can't have a party? Listen, it's going to be fine. We're not going to have a party. We're just going to have a little bit of fun, that's all. It's not like, it's not like we've got people turning up with bottles of booze looking for a party or anything like that. Nothing... Oh, who's that? All right, I'll go and have a look. I'll go and have a look. I'm not going to let anybody in that we don't want in here, all right? Let me have a look. Hello. <laughs> I'm here for the party. <laughs> it's some old fella with some mistletoe and wine. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, guys, I'm here for the party. I've got all I need and a little bit of something that you might need. <laughs> it's a Cliff Richard, man. It's a Cliff Richard. No, no, no. We can't let him in, he's a notorious party animal, Sir Cliff. He wrecked the joint, he wrecked the joint. Look, have another look. <laughs> I must have got the wrong night. Everybody has memories of Cliff being on the telly because really he's hardly ever been offered if you think about it. And the Morgan Wise one I think was marvellous because he was in his sailor's outfit, if I remember correctly. Hey there, mister, you better watch your sister cause the fleet's in, the fleet's in. Hey there, mister, can't say that no one's kissed them Cause the fleet's in, the fleet's in If they do as well on the sea As they do on the shore Hey there, Congress, you can tax us some more Get me, I'm always giving hey There was a marvellous sort of dance routine But he was telling me that, of course, those were the days When television had big money to spend on rehearsals And they rehearsed that routine for two weeks, solidly. <laughs> Morecambe and Wise routinely drew TV audiences of 27 million on Christmas Day, so only the brightest of stars would be invited to join in the fun. The they would want Cliff on because as he walked on to the set, he just brought an aura with him. He just brought something special with him. But also he loved to join in. He's a team player. And what's the only thing better than Cliff appearing on a TV special? Cliff having his own Christmas specials, of course. The Cliff Richard special were very special because everybody with down tools, uh, they would sit round the television as a family and they would watch and they'd be enchanted by whatever Cliff had produced for them in that hour. Between 
Between 1962 and 2008, Sir Cliff Richard hosted 17 Christmas specials, including a televised panto in 1967, a live gospel concert in 1980, and three Songs of Praise specials. Sweet little Jesus boy They made you born in a manger Sweet little holy child We didn't know who you were He's such a great performer and in his own way a great showman uh, and and has such charm and he's so loved, I mean that's the key really, that he never disappoints. Little wonder he was given the ultimate honour in 1990, waking up the nation on Christmas morning itself with a 60 minute festive extravaganza. Well done. Well, it's Christmas morning, it's my favourite time of the year and I hope it is yours too. I know a lot of you are going to be probably watching this in the kitchen. Mums, you know, do your mums and dads spend the Christmas day in the kitchen? Yeah. Well, sometimes it can be pretty tough for them. And maybe you're feeling, feeling slightly traumatised. If so, I guarantee one thing, the next hour hopefully will make you wish it was Christmas every day of the year. Cliff delighted the audience at home with dazzling stage performances. He even held his own with the most discerning studio audience, every day of the year. excitable you young children. Every day of the year. Now, uh, I've got a couple of songs that I'd like you to see now that we filmed while we were doing concerts. Just in a minute, Daniel, I'll talk to you in the next break. The great thing about Cliff is that even though he was a hot rock and roller back in the day, you know, he appealed to every generation. He appealed to families. He ticked and still does every box. Everybody loves Cliff. I'm sure the Queen loves Cliff. He's just so wholesome, but edgy, you know, so he's just, he's got it all, hasn't he? He really has. <laughs> People often ask, why do we still see Cliff Richard at Christmas on television? Well, why do we send Christmas cards? Why do we have mistletoe and ollie? Uh, it's all part of the, of, of, the, of the tradition of Christmas. I sincerely hope he never retires. I don't think he will because it, it's such a joy to watch him at work. Mm -hmm.